General, I'm on Tatooine. Has Master Kuix reported in? No. And after what happened on Alderaan? Last we heard, Kuix secured our weapons research facility. She's missed every comm check since then. Enemy action is the most likely scenario, but on Tatooine, anything's possible. If it's so dangerous, why pick it for your weapons facility? Tatooine has millions of uninhabited kilometers. Perfect for our research. Dr. Godera will brief you on the weapons project. Doctor? The research facility on Tatooine has created a device codenamed the Shock Drum. The weapon discharges massive ultrasonic vibrations into the ground. It damages enemy fortifications at a microscopic level, quite literally softening them up. The vibrations will cripple people if they're close enough. But that's not all. The shock drum eventually disrupts the planetary core. At critical mass, the core explodes. Weapon so destructive has no place in the Republic arsenal. We only recently discovered its full capabilities. I banned further testing. However, there's a fully operational shock drum prototype at our facility. If Darth Angrel has captured it, the results will be catastrophic. With no word from the facility or Master Kuix, we must assume the worst. I sense Master Kuix through the Force, but it's faint. I think she's dying. Can you feel her surroundings? Where is she? Not sure. Somewhere dark. It's taking everything she has to stay alive. I don't have any Republic contacts there to assist you. You're on your own. Our facility is located in a remote part of the desert. I'm transmitting the coordinates. Good luck. Marsuthra, out. A Jedi? Seabrick, I told you help would come. We'd almost given up hope. Thank you for saving our little family. Glad to help. Do you people work at this facility? Have you come to protect the shock drum, like Master Kawix? What happened to her? She defended us against Imperial soldiers led by a Sith. She fought bravely, but the Sith was stronger. Wix was a Jedi Master. This clearly wasn't your average Sith Lord. I don't know about average, but I've never seen anything like him. I assumed he was going to kill us all. Instead, he captured Master Kawix alive and ignored us. The Sith destroyed your droids, but he didn't harm us. He said we were no threat, that we didn't deserve to die. I've never known a Sith to show mercy. It was almost like the idea of killing us insulted him. He wasn't kind, but I certainly wouldn't describe him as cruel. The Sith and his soldiers took Master Kawix and the shock drum prototype into the desert. Brick and I were attempting to restore power to this facility and track them down when the Sand People attacked. <laughs> The Sand People won't be a problem anymore, but we need to find that weapon. Can you help? This facility can pick up the Shock Drum's locator beacon, but not until we restore power. The Sith knocked out all our generators during his attack. If you reactivate them, we can find him, Master Kawix, and the Shock Drum. <laughs> Facility power is back online. I'm afraid that's the only good news I have. I just detected the shock drum's locator beacon. The weapon has been activated. If we don't shut it down, the device will soon reach critical mass. When it does, Tatooine's core will explode. Your home will be fine, Brick. Just tell me where the shock drum is. Pinpointing the shock drum's exact location from here is impossible. The seismic vibrations disrupt our sensors. The general region is thousands of square kilometers. We have to narrow it down somehow. Brick, that's brilliant! The ultrasonic scanners, of course! 
Whatever you're talking about, we need to find the shock drum fast. Ultrasonic scanners placed in a wide pattern will triangulate the shock drum's seismic disturbances. They'll reveal its location. Installing the scanners is extremely dangerous. The desert region is deadly. Ideally, we'd send an army. Your droids won't be ready soon enough, Brick. This Jedi is our only hope. I feel Master Kuix reaching out to me. Something terrible is happening to her. At least we know she's still alive. She doesn't have long. Take the ultrasonic scanners. Place them at these map coordinates. We'll contact you by hollow once we've triangulated the shock drum's location. Good luck. I placed the scanners. Do you have a fix on the shock drum? Collating the scanner readings now. Ah, oh, no wonder the sensors couldn't find it. It's beneath an abandoned mining complex. I'm sending the coordinates and the shock drum's deactivation code. Everything depends on you now, but we'll be here if you need us. We're all going to make it. Just hang in there. Hope to see you again. Heron out. Greetings, Jedi. I am Lord Praven. My master seeks retribution for his son's death. I must give it to him. Get in line, Sith. I have a planet to save. If you wish to stop this world's destruction, you must face me. When my master learned you were here, he demanded I activate the shock drum. He'll destroy this entire world. I know you've located the weapon, but that won't be enough. I changed the deactivation code. Why not let me find out the hard way? What are you after, Lord Praven? My master deserves justice, but there are more noble ways to have it. I will destroy you, personally. Come, face me. If I win, I've done my duty. If you win, you'll have the new code. Whatever the outcome, we will battle with honor. I await you at these coordinates. I sense your power. Now I understand why Tarnis was no match for you. His death was my failure. I should have trained him better. The other Sith I fought were full of hatred and arrogance. And you... I sense regret. My family is true Sith. My only passions are integrity and honor. I welcome the end of your kind. The Jedi obsession with my people's extermination must end. Your lust for revenge will destroy this galaxy. Whatever you've been told about us, it's a lie. We'd gladly stop fighting if it meant genuine peace. I'd like to believe that, but I know better. Come. Let us end this. Die well, Jedi. Such skill. So much power. Impressive. You could kill me. Why hesitate? You could have killed the scientist and those Jawas at the shock drum facility. But you didn't. They were not warriors. Their deaths would have been pointless. Darth Angrel commanded me to destroy the shock drum code. He wanted you to die in failure, no matter the outcome here. I will not tarnish my honor with petty tricks. You've earned better. The code is yours. You've done the right thing. Darth Angrel ordered that Master Kuix suffer greatly before her death. I wish I had disobeyed that order as well. If Master Kuix is still alive, I will save her. I left her incapacitated next to your weapon. If they haven't already, 
the ultrasonic vibrations will eventually tear her apart. You scum! You should die like that! There is nothing more to say. You won our duel. Finish me. You may serve the Empire, but I won't kill you. You don't deserve it. Then honor demands I surrender to my master. He will do what you cannot. Look at what your honor and duty has led to. You don't owe that maniac anything. You could kill me, but refuse. Not out of fear, but compassion. The things I was taught about the Jedi. Were they all lies? It's never too late to turn from the dark side. Me? A Jedi? Impossible. Your order would never accept me. Jedi believe in forgiveness, not hate. Accepting a sworn enemy into one's ranks without fear, that is strength. I accept your offer. I'm too wounded to aid you, but I will surrender to your people. Now hurry, save this planet. The Sith changed the deactivation code for the shock drum, but I have the new one. I'm on my way. You're not there yet? Brick and his family are in terrible danger. They followed their droids to the mining complex. I tried to stop them, but they were determined to help you. Brick just sent an emergency hollow. He says there's something called a sand demon at the mine. It's attacking them. Some sort of creature? That beastly predator is the only thing that hunts crate dragons. And those are massive. Brick doesn't stand a chance. Please, you can't let anything happen to Brick and his family. Save them and stop the shock drum. Hurry! I can't sense Master Kuix at all anymore. I'll handle that beast, my friend. Keep your family safe. Did you keep the bunker? Mo gutuni ompi bedwana ni popo chopa uma. Obanya. Quiet. Finally, I can breathe again. I've been down here so long. Shh, Master. Let us help you. Kira, and Orgus's Padawan. You're both changed. What has happened? All that matters right now is you are safe. I only survived this weapon by withdrawing into a deep trance. The Force itself became my armor. Sustaining the trance cost me greatly. My strength is a fraction of what it was. Do you need medical attention? The injuries I've sustained can only be healed by time. And meditation. I know you face terrible dangers for me. I will not forget that. Here you are. I was coming to help when sensors indicated the shock drum stopped. You did it. Rick wasn't exaggerating about the sand demon. I've never seen anything like it. I almost hated having to destroy it. <laughs> My friends, the danger is not yet past. Even deactivated, that weapon remains a threat. You understand the situation best. What should we do? This technology can't fall into the wrong hands again. Let's collapse the cavern network with explosives. What? Uh, all that work? The people who died protecting it? Think how many more would have died. The galaxy is better off without such weapons. I will see to the shock drum. You should return to your ship and inform General Varsuthra what's happened. Master, you've just been through a terrible ordeal. Will you be all right? Do not concern yourself with my welfare. I am still a Jedi. Before we go, you need to know something. And I'd rather you hear it from me. I never told you about my childhood. I'm not who you think I am.
So much about you is now clear to me, Kira. But you're wrong about one thing. You are exactly who I think. A strong, capable young woman. One day, you'll be a great Jedi. If you could see what she's accomplished, you'd be proud. We'll meet again on Tython. May the Force be with you. General, Doctor, good news. Master Kawix and Seismologist Heron are safe. Even better, the shock drum was destroyed. Destroyed? Blast! I wanted to inspect that prototype. Such a promising design. The only thing it promised was to destroy planets. Honestly, I'm relieved it's gone. I've just received a surprising report from one of my cruisers in the area. A pure-blooded Sith Lord named Praven surrendered to it. He mentioned your name. Anything I should know? He was one of Darth Angle's apprentices, but he's joining our side. I promised we wouldn't hurt him. You keep finding new ways to impress me. I'll order my people to hand the Sith over to the Jedi Council. They'll know what to do. Tatooine is safe, but Darth Angle's warship has entered the Euphrates system. That agro world supplies nearly half of Carson's food. I'm scrambling the fleet, but you're closer. My ship isn't equipped to fight a battlecruiser, but... I'll think of something. Any damage to Euphrates' food production could cripple the Republic. One warship can only destroy so much. Tell that to Terrus. Transmitting Euphrates coordinates. Good hunting. No sign of Darth Angrel, but Euphrates. I saw this planet once, with Master Kawix. It used to be green. General, I've arrived at Euphrates. There's no sign of Angril, but the planet... See for yourself. Receiving your sensor readings. Stand by. Euphrates' atmosphere looks like it's on fire. What could have done that? Damage consistent with designs recovered on Ord Mantell. The Desolator weapon. Angril's taken the planet prison and turned it into something... horrific. The Desolator borrows technology from all our advanced warfare projects. Angle's son was quite the genius. Euphrates had millions of citizens. Whole continents of farmlands. All that life extinguished. The scale of this is... it's unthinkable. Getting an emergency transmission. It's faint, coming from the far side of the planet. Republic vessel, do you copy? This is medical frigate Daybreaker. We're under attack! Imperial commandos have boarded us! Help! It's one of ours. Who may know what happened here? No more of our people die today. Kira, plot an intercept course. Already done, Master. Strap yourselves in. That was the last of the Imperials. You're safe now. Not a minute too soon. Those commandos weren't taking prisoners. I still can't believe what happened to Euphrates. When we arrived, an Imperial ship was attacking the planet. I've never seen anything like it. Euphrates was trapped inside an energy field. Some starships tried to flee, but their engines failed before they could leave the atmosphere. No one escaped. Every ship that tried crashed back onto the surface. The enemy made sure there wouldn't be survivors. We tried to run, but Imperial boarding pods overtook us. I saw Euphrates' atmosphere catch fire. Horrific destruction. Flames consumed the planet. Everything turned to smoke and ash in seconds. Could anyone have escaped the destruction? I don't see how. Captain, look at this. Our sensors detect faint life readings on the planet's surface. Possible survivors. Anyone left on that planet is as good as dead. If we go down there, we can provide food, water, shelter, medicine. It's our duty. The energy field surrounding Euphrates will destroy your ship's engines. You won't be able to leave. You could hold out a long time in this ship. Long enough for the Republic to make Euphrates safe again. We're the only hope those people have. Every second counts. Please, 
He'll listen to you. Talk to him. It's not that I don't want to help, but I have a family to think about. This ship carries combat-grade Colto packs, battle adrenals, you name it. Talk her out of this crazy idea. You'll have your pick of our supplies. I've pinpointed the strongest life signs. We can land immediately. Captain Dahl just tried to bribe me. He should be removed from command. Captain, how could you? You've sworn an oath! I'd rather take my chances with a military tribunal than with whatever's down there. I'm leaving in an escape pod. My crew can do this without him. Thank you for doing what's right. I'm transmitting our sensor logs of the attack to your ship. Please give them to the Republic High Command. You better go. People on Euphrates need us. I rescued the Daybreaker, General. I have sensor logs of Angrel's attack. However, the crew landed on Euphrates to help possible survivors. They're trapped. We'll get them back somehow, but Angrel is our first priority. Transmitting sensor logs now. My initial analysis indicates the Desolator has a similar flaw to the planet Prison. The weapon's excessive power requirements demand a lengthy charging period before it can fire. Small consolation. Angrel's next attack will undoubtedly be more direct. The entire Republic should be warned about this. Carson needs to begin food rationing immediately. I'll contact the Galactic Senate and put every Republic world on... Wait. We're getting another emergency alert from Typhon. Relaying it now. Under attack by Darth Angrel. Launching defense fighters. Angrel's battlecruiser deploying energy weapon. Our ship can't escape Typhon's atmosphere. We're trapped. That explains why Angrel left Euphrates so quickly. He's already chosen his next target. Send everything you've got to Typhon. Now, General! The Republic fleet's in hyperspace. By the time it's redirected to Typhon, it'll be too late. The Desolator needs time to work. The Jedi may be trapped on Typhon, but you're not. You could board Angrel's battlecruiser. Disable the weapon before it fires. I'll disable that weapon, and Darth Angrel will answer for his crimes. I'll use the sensor logs to find the Desolator's weak point. Contact us when you're aboard Angra's warship. May the Force be with you. General, we got a little scorched, but we're inside Angra's battlecruiser. Yes, I knew you could do it. Now to end that Sith for good. Won't be that simple. The sensor logs of Angra's warship reveal he's amplified the vessel's reactors. That's a little trick he learned from me when I was interrogated by his spy on Taris. Blast his truth serums and mind probes. Disarming the Desolator weapon will necessitate overloading at least three shielded reactor relays. No simple task. General, Doctor, my team's moving out. We'll save Tython, or die trying. Don't even think that. I expect us all to reach a ripe old age. Your signal's breaking up. May the... Angle's jamming our transmissions. He's coming for us. Thanks for the vote of confidence, T7. Be careful out there. You will not steal my victory. Not now. I have sacrificed too much for this. I will avenge my son on you and all the Jedi. Sacrifice? Is that what you call your genocide on Euphrates? This was merely a test and a lure to bring you here. I foresaw this confrontation. I welcome it. Today I forge a new era for the Sith. One where the Jedi are finally extinct. Finish this, Angrel. I command it. With pleasure, my master. What... 
What was that? I felt the Emperor. You are his child. His eyes, his ears, his weapon to command. Come, child, fight by my side. It's where you belong. I'd rather jump out an airlock naked. Fight the Emperor's control. Remember who you are. I feel him in my thoughts. We have to end this fast. If you will not serve, you will die. For Tarnis. dead, and this battlecruiser's not far behind him. Disappointing. Angrel was useful. This child must learn her place. And so will you. Leave Kira alone. If you want to fight, face me in person. That is unnecessary. I see futures in you. Futures I will not allow. Your future ends. Here. This child is unfinished, weak. I will make her strong. Now you will die. Even if my child must die with you. No, I won't kill for you. You're stronger than the dark side. Push it back. I'll help you. You already did. The dark side has no power over me. I am a Jedi. He's gone. I won. I'm finally free. What was it like under the Emperor's control? Were you aware of our duel? All of it. I was in my head the whole time, like a prisoner. The ship's coming down on top of us. Let's get out of here. Thank the Force you're alive. When I saw Angrel's battlecruiser explode, I feared the worst. Good to see you, Master Satil. Everyone safe down there? We are now, thanks to you. Please come to the surface. Bring your Padawan to the Council Chambers. We all have much to discuss. Welcome home. The Jedi owe you a debt of gratitude we can never repay. The Jedi wore Republic medals. Your robe would be covered in them. Only wish Master Orgus could share in this victory. Darth Angrel paid dearly for killing Master Orgus. Angrel earned his fate. No one will mourn his passing. We've lost one of our noblest masters. But in his place stands a Jedi without equal. And you, Padawan. I knew you'd remain true to us. The Emperor himself couldn't turn her. I saw it myself. The Emperor? You didn't think to mention his involvement sooner? It's a long story, but the upshot is, I'm a Jedi, and I always will be. You've earned our trust, Kira. You deserve recognition of that. As leader of this council, it's my pleasure to promote Kira Carson to the rank of Jedi Knight. You mean it? Seems only fair. You did help save the galaxy. So this is what it feels like, being respectable. The danger to Tython is over, but we're getting fresh reports of hostilities all over the galaxy. Another war with the Empire seems inevitable. Darth Angrel was the spark that lit the flame. Even in failure, he inspired the Sith to violence. But he also forged our greatest weapon against the darkness. The Force has shown me what lies ahead. The futures of many rest on your actions. You will decide the fate of the Jedi, the Republic, the galaxy. I'll defend the Republic to my dying breath. May the Force be with you. With all of us.
The Force is with you, now and always. Master Orgus? His power is growing. Only you can stop him. You must go to Tatooine. Stop who? Why Tatooine? A starship crashed in a desert canyon. Use the Force. Find it. Who were you talking to? The holocom's not even on. This is crazy, but Master Orgus was standing right there. He spoke to me. He's not alive like that, T7. Master Quix once told me powerful Jedi can live on through the Force after they die. Not a social call, then. What did Master Orgus say to you? There's a crashed starship in a canyon on Tatooine. I can almost see it in my head. Then hold that thought. Next stop, Tatooine. I know your face. The one who defeated Darth Angrel, the hero of Tython. That's a heroes of Tython. I fought Darth Angrel too. My mission was a secret. No one knew where I was. How did you find me? The spirit of my dead master, Orgas Din, sent me here. He said you needed help. Thank the Force. And your master. I thought I was dead. Under the circumstances, I think we had better contact my superiors. It almost repaired my hollow before the Sith ambushed me. Jomar! Where are you? Masters, I completed my mission, but Sith assassins shot down my vessel over Tatooine. The spirit of Master Orgus Din sent my rescuer. I believe you know him. The Force wants our mission to succeed, Master Satya. This is proof. He knew he was the nexus of our fates, but events are transpiring faster than I foresaw. We never get a break. But you can always count on me. Jomar, the medical shuttle is en route. Before it arrives, give your rescue at the sensor logs you recorded. Bring us those logs immediately. We'll explain everything when you're on Typhon. This burden is now yours. Guard it with your life. Go. Hurry. This area is dangerous. I'll stay until the medical shuttle arrives. What I've given you cannot wait. We'll meet again on Typhon. May the Force be with you. I brought the sensor logs, Master Satil. I'm sure you have many questions. Master Tol Braga will answer them. It's good to finally meet you in person. They say you're the greatest Jedi the Order has seen in generations. I believe the Force has guided you to me. Together, we'll defeat the Empire. Restoring peace to the galaxy is the reason I became a Jedi. I'm organizing a top-secret strike team of our best and brightest, Jedi who don't know the meaning of failure. Twice, you've saved the Jedi Order from destruction. Englemore and Darth Engel were formidable opponents. Now I ask you to confront the ultimate evil and help me capture the Sith Emperor. The Emperor is the most powerful Sith. What if we can't capture him? Then we will do what is necessary to remove him. Killing the Emperor only creates a power vacuum. My plan will end the Sith Empire forever. Is an ancient fortress orbiting the Imperial homeworld, Droman Kaas. It's hidden by a powerful cloaking device. The Emperor rules his people from this cloaked fortress. Not even the highest ranking Sith can find him. But we're going to locate that fortress, get inside it, and seize the Emperor. Unless you plan on holding the Emperor hostage, leaving will be a bigger problem. Our entire operation will be conducted in secret. The Empire won't know we're there. We've already made great strides toward our objective. The man you saved on Tatooine scouted the Drummond caste system. His sensor logs will help us plan this assault. We'll plot a hyperspace route through the Imperial Navy's defenses. Slip right past them. Other members of my strike team are uncovering ways to pierce the cloaking device and defeat the security around the Emperor's fortress. I could use your expertise on Balmora. The Empire and Republic are at war there and the fighting has endangered our mission. Open war on Balmora? When did this happen? The invasion just began. Balmora belonged to the Republic before the Sith conquered it during the last war. 
Now the Republic wants it back. We've placed great responsibility on you, but I know you won't fail us. Contact your fellow strike team member Warren Sedora when you reach Balmora. He'll explain the mission. We're going to save the galaxy. May the Force be with us.